A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus who was about to pass that way. When they reached that place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they begged to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor, and if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church celebrates the liturgical memory of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Temple. It was the presentation that she made, that is, she as a child, an adolescent girl, who don't know, who know, accordingly, as a child, she went to the Temple of Jerusalem and there she offered herself to the Lord. It was her first consecration. When she visited Jerusalem. There is an entrance to the city, very close by where the Church of St. Anne is, also there next to the church, one of the great poles where Jesus performed miracles. In this church of St. Anne is where the house of St. Anne was, according to tradition, is where the Blessed Virgin was born and lived. Therefore, until at some point, perhaps, When she married St. Joseph, she went to live in Nazareth. In any case, the Blessed Virgin spent her childhood there. One moment, in a moment, she felt that, while she was without knowing it, the Immaculate Conception was calling her to give herself absolutely to God, to marry God's spirituality. Later, she did not renounce the marriage with St. Joseph. She did not renounce it and got married without the marriage being consumed. The marriage had two stages, let us say, in the Jewish world, using our terminology, the promise. They were promised, but they did not live together, and then, properly speaking, the wedding. However, she had already consecrated herself to the Lord. For us, This also has great importance, the spirit of consecration, a spirit of consecration which anyone can do, even a married person, the spirit of consecration to the heart of Jesus, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the spirit of consecration to God. That is prior to the other consecration, in which some cases is God's will for a person, such as consecration to religious vows, or to priesthood. First, you have to consecrate yourself and your soul before consecrating yourself with your body. Consecrate your life. I started to go daily and voluntarily to Mass. I mean, since I was a child, my parents took me to Mass long before I entered the seminary. I did not start going to daily Mass because I entered the seminary, but I entered the seminary because I went to Mass daily. That is, the spirit of consecration precedes any other consecration, which may or may not come. If there is not this spirit of consecration open to all, then there will not be a consecration of life 
within marriage or consecration of life in priesthood or in religious life. Today I also want to dedicate a word to the gospel that I just read. Jesus enters to a house of sinner. They recriminate him. They criticize him. What does it mean? It means that Jesus blessed Zacchaeus' sin. Being in Zacchaeus' house, he was a sinner. He himself recognizes it. He says it, although he says it unconditionally. If I have defrauded someone, the publicans charge taxes for the Romans, but they also charge more and kept it for themselves. If I had defrauded someone, I will pay them back four times as much. The blessing, the presence of Jesus in Zacchaeus' house, was a blessing to his sin? He says, no. It was an act of love for the person. God loves you. He loves you as you are. This is the eternal teaching for the church. St. Paul says, perhaps for some righteous people, someone will have been found willing to die. St. Paul says, but Christ died for us who were sinners. The Lord loves you, and He loves you as you are. Whatever sins you have, the Lord loves you, and He loves you as you are. I repeat, this is the eternal teaching of the church. Otherwise, we cannot be following Jesus, who went to eat at the house of the sinner, and was also going to eat at the house of the Pharisees, who were not less sinners, although their sin was different. What happened? It happened that Zacchaeus converted. He experienced love and change. He did not say, Jesus came to my house with his presence. He is blessing what I do, so I may continue stealing. He did not say that. He has come to my house. He faced criticism. He has risked himself to love me. I have to change. I have to be grateful. I have to give back what I just received. He converts. That is why the Lord says, this is very important. The salvation of this house has come today because this one is also the son of Abraham because the son of man has come to seek the saved what was lost. Save what was lost. He does not say Bless what was lost, but he saved what was lost. Could it have happened that the man entered Zacchaeus' house and he offered himself a good meal, even a generous donation, but later for him to continue stealing? It is very likely, it is indeed possible that would have happened. We do not know in how many cases it happened. Jesus entered the house of the Pharisees to eat, to criticize him. That time, when he was there eating, a woman came in and begged him to wash his feet with her perfume, and she was a prostitute. The perfume that she had, she who poured it on his feet. The Pharisees said, This man doesn't know who is taking care of, who is washing him. He answered, I came into your house. You did not give me the protocol kiss. You did not offer me water to wash my hands. Look at this woman, whom is love Allah, much is forgiven. To whom much is forgiven, loves much. Let us think about this. The Lord does not bless sin. He blesses and loves the sinner. If it is, if it were not so, What hope will each of us have? How could we have hope if we were not sure of God's love? The love of God is not in odds with the justice of God. That is why when there is no response to the loving, given a love, the love is frustrated in us. God loved us first to provoke a response of conversion, of gratitude. Love is paid with love. Zacchaeus understood this, and he converted and was saved. Many, unfortunately, don't understand it and abuse of the love of God. Amen.